All right, what's up, you guys? I'm here with the 2005 WWE pay-per-view DVD collection. So let's start off with New Year's Revolution. We have Batiste on the cover here. You have the dragon. And this was held in Puerto Rico. And this, you have the World Heavyweight title, Elimination Chamber. That's really all this show is. It's kind of a one-match show. You have Kane and Snitsky, Sean Benjamin and Maven. Uh, you have Muhammad Hassan and Jerry the King Lawler. Then, of course, you have Triple H, Batista, Edge, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, and Chris Benoit in the Elimination Chamber. Overall, you know, like I said, it's kind of a one-match show. And mine did not come with an insert. I'm sure that's only mine that didn't. Because this is back when they actually did inserts. Alright, next up we have Royal Rumble 2005. I always hated this cover. Um, I'm sure I'm probably in the minority there. But... Never liked it. But decent show. You have Shawn Michaels and Edge. You have a casket match with Undertaker and Heidenreich. You have JBL, Kurt Angle, and Big Show for the WWE title. And then you have Triple H versus Randy Orton for the World Heavyweight title. And then, of course, you have your Royal Rumble match. And this one gives you the, uh, the different brands and then the numbers they came in. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, decent show. Um, I really like the botched ending. That's just me, though. I thought it was interesting and entertaining. All right, No Way Out 2005. This is an awful cover. I think we can all say agree with that one. But this is when you had um, six-man elimination cruiserweight championship match. You have a Booker T and Heidenreich, John Cena versus Kurt Angle for number one contendership. Undertaker and Luther Reigns. You have the Bashams versus Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. Pretty good match. And then you had JBL versus Big Show in the first ever barbed wire steel cage match. It was a very mess of a match. I am not a fan of it. I like the concept because I like the barbed wire idea. It just it wasn't executed properly. I think if they had two other superstars in there, they could have made it something special. But there's your insert. All right, next up is WrestleMania 21. Uh, I do have a better copy of this in better shape, but this is my original copy, so I figured I'd show it. Um, I always liked the logo, but I always thought the cover could have been a little bit more. I feel like it's missing something, you know? A little too uneventful of a cover. And then you have the back here. Now, like I said, I have a brand new one in the cabinet, um, but I figured I'd show this one. This is my first one. All right, so you have Batista and John Cena. You know, it's a it's a good WrestleMania. I know a lot of people either like it or really like it. I'm kind of in the middle about it. Um, you know, it it's a good show. It's not it's nowhere near bad, and you had a great Hall of Fame class. But great artwork here. You actually had the Hollywood sign in the background there, behind all the discs. But your insert. And then you have uh, Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. You have Undertaker and Randy Orton. Um, Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle in a great match. You have your sumo match. You have your Money in the Bank ladder match, which is awesome. Uh, JBL and John Cena. That could have been approved upon. And then we have Triple H and Batista. I like that match. Um, I know a lot of people didn't really like it, but I thought it was actually a really good match. Like I said, JBL and John Cena was really the only disappointment there. And the sumo match, but who even cares about that? Alright, we have a Raw pay-per-view, Backlash. Very, very cool cover. I always really liked that. Uh, I always thought it should have Batiste on it, though. But, I mean, they just did New Year's Revolution with him on it, so. Alright, we have um, Tag Team Turmoil match. Kane versus Viscera. Chris Benoit versus Edge in a last man standing match. Shelton Benjamin and Chris Jericho. And then Shawn Michaels and Hulk Hogan versus uh, Muhammad Hassan and Davari. And then we have Batista versus Triple H again in the rematch. And a very good match, actually. Uh, I, really, I really like their rivalry. And then there's your nice insert. Discard work. 
All right, next up we have Judgment Day 2005. I like this cover. I know a lot of people don't. I do, though. I like how the title's in the reflection, but not on him. Just little details like that. All right, so we have Big Show and Carlito, Booker T and Kurt Angle, Paul London and Chavo Guerrero, uh, Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero again. And then we also have um, I Quit Match, John Cena, and JBL. Fantastic match. Fantastic match. Love it. And this is probably one of my favorite inserts they've ever done. I just love the artwork of it and the beauty of it. Very nice. Alright, next up we have ECW One Night Stand, June 12, 2005. I always really like the artwork on here. It's very simple. It's all you need. It's an ECW show. I'm a huge ECW fan, so this is very nice. To, uh, very nice that it happened. But we have Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit in the shoot match. Lance Storm and Chris Jericho. Rey Mysterio and Psychosis. Um, Super Crazy, Tajiri, and Little Guido. And then Tommy Dreamer and the Sandman versus the, the Dudley Boys. No insert on this one. I don't think this one ever came with an insert. I could be wrong, though. All right, next up we have Vengeance, 2006. And um, I hate when they do the damn stickers because I can't get this one off because it's been on there for like 10 years before I bought it. So it's like, all right, maybe not 10 years, but the sticker's like permanently on there now, so I can't get it off. I could get it off with water if I were to take the cover slip out. But very nice cover here. I really like this. Um, one of the best covers of the year. Very nice backing as well. Kind of resembles the Hell in a Cell anthology. But we have Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle again. Kane versus Edge. Carlito and Shelton Benjamin. John Cena, Christian, and Chris Jericho for a triple threat match. And then Batista and Triple H in a great Hell in a Cell match. And kind of different artwork there for the disc. And then there's your insert. I always really hated the stage for this event. It really bothered me. Uh, they kind of they did the Las Vegas stage. I absolutely hate that stage. All right, Great American Bash, two thousand five. You have Tori Wilson on here again, and this I prefer this one over the last one. Uh, I like the borders there. Very nice. Both Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero again. Eminem versus the Road Warrior Animal and Hayden Rake. Undertaker versus Muhammad Hassan. I believe this was his last pay per view appearance. And then Orlando Jordan versus Chris Benoit for the US title. And then Batista versus JBL. Fix center of that. Alright, so very nice insert there, too. And then an extra you have Eddie Guerrero exposing Rey Mysterio's secret. Alright, next up we have SummerSlam 2005. Hogan versus Michaels. Uh, this is an infamous match. And then we have um, Orlando Jordan and Chris Benoit. Undertaker and Randy Orton. Uh, Matt Hardy versus Edge. Batista versus JBL in a world title match. You have the ladder match with Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. Uh, John Cena versus Chris Jericho uh, for the WWE title. Right before Chris Jericho left the next night. And then Hulk Hogan versus Shawn Michaels, like I said. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the match. I know people just like it for the hilariosity of it. But, yes, I use a Chris Stuckman term, if anyone gets that reference. But, uh, yeah. There we go. Kind of a bland insert there. Alright, next up we have Unforgiven 2005. Cena and Angle on there. Um, great match up there. Well, I mean, what can you say? It's John Cena and Kurt Angle. But we have Carlito and Ric Flair. You have Matt Hardy versus Edge in a great steel cage match. Big Show and Snitsky. Um, Shelton Benjamin versus Kerwin White. If you've ever heard of him. <laughs> and then we have um, Shawn Michaels and Chris Masters. And then... John Cena and Kurt Angle for the WWE title. Very nice insert and very nice artwork. I really like that insert. Very nice. 
All right, Taboo Tuesday, 2005. Very cheesy cover there. Like, I don't, can you even get any more cheesier than that, really? Um, but we have... Um, it's not a good show. I mean, just look at this. Batista versus Jonathan Coachman. Originally supposed to be Stone Cold versus Jonathan Coachman. No joke. And you have Batista. Yeah, Batista. I already named that. Ric Flair and Triple H in a steel cage match. Very good steel cage match. And then John Cena versus Kurt Angle versus Shawn Michaels. And the rest is really nothing special. Um, there's your insert and artwork. All right. My favorite pay-per-view cover of the year, Batista and Eddie Guerrero there. That is a beautiful cover. I don't care what you say. Um, it's fitting for Eddie's final pay-per-view. But we had Hardcore Holly and Mr. Kennedy, Bobby Lashley and Simon Dean, Rey Mysterio and JBL, um, Chris Benoit versus Booker T versus Christian versus Orlando Jordan, you have a casket match, Undertaker versus Randy Orton and Cowboy Bob Orton, and then Batista versus Eddie Guerrero for the world title. But yeah, this one, this is a great DVD to have for anyone, you know. Just beautiful artwork and beautiful match with Eddie's final pay-per-view. And then we have a an amazing cover here, love it. Uh, the beginning of the end, Survivor Series with Taker, his return where Matt Hardy got in trouble for not um, selling. Uh, we have Chris Benoit versus Booker T in the Best of Seven series. I like the Best of Seven series. Eric Bischoff versus Theodore Long. We have John Cena versus Kurt Angle. Uh, we have Ric Flair and Triple H in the Last Man Standing match. And then you have Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. And actually advertise the return of The Undertaker there. Um, very nice insert. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a grayish purple, the font on this. It's very nice. But, yeah, I really like this pay-per-view. And then, finally, we have Armageddon 2005 with Batista on the front here. And I know I have messed it up by putting the wrong Armageddon on 2004, and I'm going to refilm that. But, of course, you know, I literally, I hate this cover. It's my least favorite cover they've ever done. But we have um, Juventud Guerrero versus Kid Cash. The Mexicals versus Eminem. Matt Hardy versus JBL. Chris Benoit versus Booker T. Continuing the series. Batista and Rey Mysterio versus Kane and Big Show. And then Undertaker versus Randy Orton inside Hell in a Cell. So... It's like a zoomed out disc art there. And then there's your insert. So, there you have it. That is your 2005 pay-per-view collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.